Hey, what's up, guys? This is your boy Travis back again here at Big Boy Toy Reviews. And today we will be taking a look at Figma 594 Sophia F. Shearing Bikini Armor TA001. Not quite sure what the TA means. Uh, leave it to your imagination. Um, but uh, <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the box real quick. Um, so I do have the, um, I do have the, I have another version of her, which is like a surfboard version. Um, and I will do a comparison cause I did pull her off of my display for this review. I don't typically like doing that, but since I did need to set her up a little bit better, um, uh, I went on ahead and pulled her off, but yeah, this is the box and uh, this one looks it, it, it is very similar to the uh, The previous version, but there are quite a few differences. So we will go over that as well But anyway, let's take a look at the figure let's Move the box over a little bit. Hopefully my camera can focus on the figure and not the box uh so yeah, this is the figure, and uh, as you can see, she is um, very nice looking. Um, the detail and paint on, this is, you know, when it comes to Max Factory and Figma, they are typically really good with their paints and uh, sculpting, especially when it comes to like these anime type girls. Um, and so, get it a closer look, oops get a closer look here at the face now I will tell you this is a lot better than the previous version the other version has bunny ears a type of bunny ears too but they are pegged in and they fall out a lot the face looks really really good and then we have um, her our bikini armor if we want to call it that it is like a uh, translucent type of plastic um, it almost <laughs> it almost looks like she has like nipple coverings on there like the bikini is translucent and she has like nipple coverings on it or something it's, they've they've really gone to, um, the uh, the extra the extra steps to uh, really put detail into the figure uh, anyway the gloves are very nicely painted. I do like all of the uh, clear blue plastic everywhere. I think that looks really cool. The previous version also has similar characteristics, similar details. Um, obviously she's in a bikini. That is also painted very nicely. More of that really nice transparent blue plastic all over the face. The, uh, the gold is painted nicely. All the Tampography, I guess you can call this. This might be paint on here too as well. Everything is done really nicely. And then we get to, I guess you can call these her wings. All of this looks really, really, really good. The lettering on here, the Vin Golf Collection Company, whatever that is. Um, doesn't look like you can move this out the way. Can't really see what that says. What does it say? use designated tool to remove fastener <laughs> that is very unnecessary detail nicely painted here on the silver we have more of that translucent blue plastic on the back she has like a little tail i'm not quite sure if this is part of maybe her helmet or her, her um what do you call this uh uh what would you call this or i don't know what you would call that a headband i don't know um, also painted nicely there on the tip. Nicely painted blue on the back. The gold is nicely painted again. Very nice sculpting everywhere. Figma is pretty good with that. Then we do have other things on. I mean, look at look how look how detailed the print is on there. You can really, really, really see it. Now that little, very little, tiny print. You can't see that. At least I can't. So that looks really good we got more of that detail here on this side more nicely detailed sculpting more nicely detailed painting yeah this this is very 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 well done 
but uh yeah that's uh, pretty much it for the details let's go ahead and uh take a look at the accessories Alrighty, actually, you know what? I could, I, I am probably gonna take these out anyway. I don't know why I'm doing this in the plastic, but anyway, here are her hands. Obviously, the Figma rack of hands. We got two weapon holding hands, two kind of one kind of style pose hands, actually two. So actually, I should do it this way. Uh, we have four weapon holding hands, just at different angles. Then we have two style pose hands and two finger pointing hands. And then she has two fist hands on her in the packaging and then obviously you get the standard Figma base and stand so that is pretty typical for Figma then as far as faces we get the O face which is printed and painted very nicely so we got the O face then we have the um, I guess I'm hurt face uh, I guess we, we're gonna go with that that's what that is also nicely painted with their uh, cheeks kind of blushing there either blushing or hurt and then we have another smiley face looking off to the side so that is that for the faces and she comes with this really nice shield which is also very nicely done nicely painted the silver is nice we have I guess you can almost say that's kind of a a, uh, a what do they call it wet decal what did it dry oh, i forget what they're called for model kits that's what it almost feels like the ones that you gotta wet to uh, the stickers that you have to wet to put on something i forget what those are called but yeah also very nicely done again with that blue trans plastic transparent plastic so that looks really good then she has her i guess you can kind of call this a spear um, I don't, is a spear, does a spear, is it, does a spear have the uh, points at both ends? I, I don't remember. I don't know what that weapon is called then, but I'm gonna just call it a spear, but also very nicely painted. Very flimsy, very kind of flimsy, but uh, just gotta be careful with it if you are gonna pose her with this. Again, with the transparent, transparent blue plastic. Then we have one of two swords. So this is really cool looking. Kind of reminds me of a Zelda sword. But yeah, this one's really, really cool. I like that. I like the way that looks. And then we kind of have a knife here or like a short sword, I don't know. But also painted really nicely like the other stuff. So yeah, that is it for accessories. Alrighty, now for articulation. She does have your typical Figma hinge joint in here, which I don't like. I never have. It's it's a terrible neck joint, but she can look up, look down that much, and obviously she can get some tilt. But the way that hinge is made, it just doesn't really work well for head tilts. Obviously, her uh, her bunny ears are on hinges. Shoulders. Let's see how far we can get those. So we can't quite get those horizontal without the shoulder piece bumping into the place you can't move that either so it's about as high as you're going to get typical figma elbow joint um over 90 degrees then we have a ball hinge for the wrist then back here on her little wings here she does they, they are on hinges their ball peg hinges that can go up and down and you can twist them as well you can bring them around if you want you twist those all around they can come back and forth like that uh, there can these can you so you can't spin at this point you can't move them at this point just here at that point so that is the only articulation there this doesn't hinge either at least I can't get it to hinge and I know Figma's are very very delicate and easy to break so I'm not going to attempt it if, if you are mine won't move uh, as far as the torso obviously she has no lower oh, she does have a lower waist joint does have a lower waist shape. So this upper torso joint, um, as far back as that's that's as far back as she can go. Then, whoops. Then let's see if we can just activate that one. That's about as far forward as she can go. And then she does she get some side to side here? I'm trying, I'm trying just to find the way to the spot to grab her to do the side to side and not break stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna have to grab her. Okay, she does get side to side. You can spin up there at that joint as well. Uh, we activate both the lower and that bottom joint. She goes forward really far, but you get a good amount of gapping here in the back, 
which is expected expected for a, a figure that doesn't have that doesn't have any clothes on really and then backwards not really at all because i'm kind of using her hips there i forgot about her little uh her little her little rabbit tail her little rabbit pup ball you can spin that obviously it pops off but you can spin it around um then as far as the hips or the legs you can get splits decent decent split there um as far as a swivel i don't i don't think there is a thigh swivel oh there it is it's down here at the bottom a good place to put it a good place to hide it so you can have kind of a seamless thigh swivel so that's a good spot then that's over well over 90 degrees there with the knee and it's a good length it's a good thigh to calf ratio i'm not too mad at that considering that she has like on these high heels uh speaking of the high heels they can't go forward very well uh, not back very well they they think you can get an ankle rocker somewhat out of this maybe kind of i think you can and then it has a toe joint but it's mostly useless so i don't know why it exists um but i think that is it for articulation typical figma articulation um she is somewhat loose here in the knees as you can see she keeps falling back especially if you just use one knee if you use both she's pretty stable but there is a there is a little bit of looseness there uh but anyway let's uh do some comparisons Alrighty, so here she is next to uh two other figma uh figures now this is her previous version and as you can see there is quite a bit of difference between these two. Um, see if I can actually grab her without knocking her over. Um, you can see there is quite a difference between these two. Um, clearly she um, has got a different breast uh, implant since the last time she came out. <laughs> she, I would argue this one is quite a bit better than this one. Um, the skin tone is different and they're supposed to technically be the same person um, You can kind of tell that they are uh, the faces are very similar. The faces are almost exactly the same but obviously it's a different uh, different style here with uh, these two But uh, they still look good together though. So they'll definitely still be in the same display together. They're, they're, about, they're I think they're the same height obviously they're impossible to stand uh, they're not impossible, but they're they're difficult to stand in. As I say, that they they stand perfectly. Uh, she has the sticky tack. She has sticky uh, stickies on her bottom on bottom or one of her feet, so she can uh, she's gonna stand anyway. But uh, let's see, all right. Uh oh, I say that and then she doesn't stand. All right, um, and she's doing a good job of standing on her own. She got moved. She got jostled there a little bit and. Uh, didn't fall but yeah and then obviously we have her next to the demon slayer um what's her name i forget what her name is can't remember all the names of these figures these days but uh yeah there she is next to those two Alrighty, and here she is next to sh figuarts uh rainbow mika and then the uh marvel legends uh, uh marvel legends uh why, why am i blanking on her um Black Widow, God damn it! <laughs> and, here, and, and here she is also next to Black Widow. Uh, so yeah, here she is next to SH Figure Arts, Rainbow Mika, and Marvel Legends Black Widow. Just kind of throwing some uh, other figures there, uh, but that's it for them. So here she is next to Pocket Art Habasashi, and then Second Axe with a collaboration with sentinel uh super sonico and there she is with a couple third party characters uh, but that is it for comparisons let's go ahead and get to my final thoughts Alrighty, so in conclusion uh she will be a good addition to the waifu display uh obviously i got the first version uh and um and I'm displaying that one currently. So obviously I am going to uh, say this is a good figure because I thought that one was a good figure for the purposes of what I said it's for. You know, you collect for whatever reason you collect for. I collect for the reasons I collect for. I want a waifu uh, display. So she will be on that for me. 
but uh anyway that is it for the review comment like and subscribe and until next time peace